So today we're going to be reviewing how to multiply whole numbers. Now last year in fourth grade, you multiplied three digit by one digit numbers and two digit by two digit numbers. So we're going to review that really quickly. So let's look at this first problem. We have eight times six. Okay, so eight times six is 48. So we can write 48. All right. And then we have, we can also fill in 48 in our problem, okay? So the 8 goes on the bottom, and the 4 goes above the 1's place, okay? So that's our first thing. We did 8 times 6. Now we're going to do 6 again, because 6 we're multiplying by all of those digits by 1, okay? But it's not technically 1. It's actually 6 times 10, and 6 times 10 is 60, Okay, so we also can multiply 6 times 1, and we put the 6, but then we have to add the 4 from the other part. So 6 plus 4 is 10. All right, and then we have 6 now times 3, but the 3 is in the hundredth place, so it's really like saying 6 times 300, and 6 times 3 is 18, with two zeros. All right, so now we can fill it in our problem up top, okay? So six times three is 18 plus one is 19, okay? And we just fill 19 right down below. And our answer is 1,908. Now, if we were, now I completed the problem at the top like how you learned last year, okay? By putting the numbers in the top and making sure to add them again. Down below though, what I ended up doing Okay, I basically did partial products. So I multiplied the 6 times the 4, the 6 times the 10, and the 6 times the 300. And if I were to add all those together, I would get 1,908. All right, so let's look at the next problem, a two-digit by a two-digit number. The first thing we start with the 7 and the 4. Okay, so the 7 and the 4, 7 times 4 is 28. Okay. And that's 7 times 4 is 28. And then we could also fill it in in our problem. The 8 goes down below. And the 2 goes above the 2. Carry that 2 above. Okay? So now 7 times 4 is 28. The next thing we're doing is 4 times 2. Or in this case, it's really like saying 4 times 20. So this is actually supposed to be a 4. 4 times 20 is 80. Okay? And then we can complete it. We get 8. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 2 is 10. And we fill 10 in right there. And now we've multiplied the 4 by the 7 and the 2. So now we need to have a placeholder. All right, so we put that placeholder down below. And now we have the 3. Okay, so we focus on the 3. I'm going to switch my color. Okay, 3 times 7. It's technically like saying 30 times 7. Okay, 30 times 7 or 3 times 7 is 21 plus a 0 is 210. Okay, so 3 times 7 is, put the 1 down below, the 2 up top. Okay, 3 times 7 is 21. And then we have 30 times 20. Okay, so 30 times 20 is 600. Okay. So but if we go up here in this problem, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. And if we add all those up together, we have 918. All right. So that is what we get when we did our problem just like you learned last year. What I did down below, down here... I just did it partial products. So I broke up each part by its place value and I added all the place values together. And if I did that, I would also get 918. Okay. So what you guys are going to do, okay, we're going to look at now multiplying a three digit by a two digit number. Okay. So let me erase this. When we multiply a three-digit by a two-digit number, we need to have 
placeholders. How many? Usually when three digit by two digit, we really only need one placeholder. Okay, we need a placeholder because we are multiplying up to the hundreds place value. All right, so let's look at this first example. We have 257 times 36. So we start in the ones place. We multiply seven times six. Seven times six is 42. Okay, we put the two down below. And then we bring the four above the five. That's where we put the four. Okay, and now we've just done seven times six. The next one we do, we have six, but we multiply the six times the five in the tens place. Okay, so six times five is 30, but then we have to add the four from before. So we get 34. The last digit always goes down below, okay? And the three from the 34 goes above the next available spot, which would be above the two. So the last step, we did the six times the seven, the six times the five. Now we need to do six times two. All right, so six times two is 12. 12, but we have to add the three that we put above it because we're carrying the place value. So 12 plus three is 15. We can put both of these digits down below because there's nowhere else to go over here. Okay, so we just put the 15 down below. And we're done with multiplying the six by all of those values. So now I'm gonna change my color and multiply the three by all of those values. So we do three first times what? Three times seven. Okay, so we draw a line between those. Three times seven, oh, we have to stop though because we forgot what. What goes right in this spot? We have to have a placeholder, okay? So three times seven is 21. Okay, so we put the one down below. Now, before we even place the two, I need to cross off the three and the four that I had up there before, okay? Because we don't need those anymore. So I'm actually just going to delete them. I'll erase those up there because we don't need those. That was for the six. We're now focusing on the three, okay? So we did three times seven is 21. The one goes down below. The two goes above the five. Okay, now we have three times five. Okay, so three times five is 15 plus two is 17. So the seven goes down below and the one from the 17 goes above the two's place. Okay, so now the last thing we have to do with the three, we multiplied it by the seven, we multiplied it by the five, now we have to multiply it by the two. So three times two is six, plus the one from that we carried from the 17 is seven. Okay, so now what we have to do with those partial products, we have to add everything together. Okay, so we end up getting as our final answer, We end up getting 9,252, and that's our final answer, okay? So again, taking your time with this, I like to use different colors to keep track of what I'm multiplying, okay? Again, just taking your time and making sure that you're multiplying all of the place values. So complete this next problem on a scrap piece of paper, okay, and see what you get. So start with the ones place, multiply the two by the four, by the nine, and by the three, writing them all down, add a placeholder, and then multiply the seven by the four in the ones, the nine in the tens, and the three in the hundredths, okay? Write that down and see what you get as your final answer. Take your time. So. Let's see, I'm gonna do this kind of speed round, okay? The four times the two is eight, so I put eight down below. I'm gonna use green. Then we have the two times the nine, okay, is 18. This is why it's important to know your facts, okay? And we carry that one. Oop, I put the one on the, around the wrong spot. You're putting on what you're gonna be multiplying next. Now we have the two times the three, which is six. 
6 plus 1 is 7. Okay, and we're done multiplying the 2 by all of these top values. Okay, we did the 1s, the 10s, and then the 100s. So now we're going to move on to the 7. And I'm going to have my placeholder down below because now we're moving on to the 7, which is in the 10 spot. So that's why we have that placeholder because we're shifting over a place. Okay, so I'm going to use blue. 7 times 4, that's what we're doing first. 7 times 4 is 28. 8 down below. We carry the 2 above our next value that we're going to multiply, which is above the 9 and the 7. Okay. 7 times 9 is 63, plus 2 is 65. So we have the 5 down below. And the 6, now cross out that 1. We don't need that. It's now a 6. Okay. So 7 now times 3 is 21. 21 though we have to add to 6 so that would be 27 and we're going to put the whole 27 there because there's nothing else we can carry numbers over we're done the problem so we have to add all this together okay and our final answer if we add it all making sure that we've done it properly is 228,360 Eight. All right, as our final answer. So again, the big thing for problems like these guys is to take your time and organize your work. All right, so attached to this Ed puzzle is going to be a little review of all of this, these materials, a bunch of different practice problems. I am going to ask you to submit pictures of your work because if you're getting the answers incorrect, I can't help you if I can't see the work that you're doing. Okay, so you're going to be answering these problems and you're also going to be um, submitting pictures of your work again so I can see your work and help you out if you are getting anything incorrect. All right, take your time again. If you have any questions, please let me know and have a 